Interested in how we maintain our hydro machines? Come find out. That is holding back the River Derwent, that gate, which sits on the other side of two sections here. We are looking at the spiral case. So this directs water in a circular pattern so that it hits the runner in all angles. We get debris through here, which is quite large. And yeah, we're walking up through kind of curved spiral casing. So it starts off nice and big, coming through, and it slowly brings the water around in this cyclical passage. And because the energy is being consumed, we reduce the area, and therefore we keep the pressure constant on the water. We just came up through here. These are guide vanes. So these rotate to close and touch on each other. Um, this is what controls how much water comes into the spiral. What the guys are doing right now is double checking the cheek plate steels up the top here. So anything with paint pen, these marks on top, highlighting possible problems on the spiral case. Next, we were looking at just before, making sure there's enough clearance underneath these guide vanes. So um, they rotate properly, they seal properly, and they do everything we want it to. But other than that, we're looking at a gigantic chamber with the guide vanes at about 1.7 meters tall. Now we're looking at the, the runner blades. So these actually rotate inside here, change pitch according to speed. We then have stainless steel blades, which each weigh a couple hundred kilograms. And then this entire hub itself will weigh a couple tons by itself. Massive, massive structure that the entirety of the River Derwent will flow through and create energy.